host of <laughs> You want to die in Jamaica? <laughs> It's not a bad place to die. I mean, uh, you're yeah. 90, you die in an orgy in Jamaica? Come on. Yeah. Baby pina coladas, we're good. What happened to grandpa? <laughs> he died doing what he loved. Right? That's, That's, how f- and drinking. Like, That's how I want to go out. Oh my God. Life is a challenge. How do you get through it? Laughing at the dark and dirty. We walk you through all the naughty secrets of the adult industry, and you get to be a fly on the wall with two best friends in the business of boobs. We want to hear your dirty secrets too. If you have stories to share, questions for us, need advice, which may or may not be helpful, but we'll make you laugh. We'll always be laughing here, and we thank you for coming this week. The Totally Wholesome Not Dirty Podcast, hosted by Molly Stewart and Laura Contreras. I asked Laura what her what her favorite like high what her favorite high food thank you yeah (laughs) and she goes she goes she really ponders it she's like food (laughs) and I was like what do you mean I thought I said snacks didn't I say snacks no you just said food (laughs) and I was thinking like I was like anything you were just like anything just like food and you just kept saying (laughs) oh your headset's right here. <laughs> I'm not cute. You are. No, I'm not. Look at your outfit. You look so cute. What do you mean? Uh, you're all matching and vibing. You look so cute. You look cute. We're all hey. ever cute. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Hey. Mm. Joining us today, we have the amazing Avery Jane. Avery Jane! Hello! Welcome! Thanks Mm. for having me. We're excited. We're happy to have you here. I've been wanting to meet you ever since Laura did your look for the creepy clown. Oh my gosh. With the charcoal tabs. Tell me about this journey because it was amazing. The photos were so good. And you planned all that like creatively. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. (laughs) It was so cool. Okay, so I love clowns. Um, I'm a big fan of clowns. If money wasn't an option and I could have any job in the world, I'd be a clown in the circus, I guess. Um, and so last year for Halloween, I really, really wanted to do clown content because I'm a clown every year for Halloween. Every year, I'm d- a different clown, but it's a clown every year. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> and so, you know, I, I found a male talent and was like, will you do this weird thing with me and have clown sex with me? Because I like clowns and like have a clown fetish low key. But like ha- Halloween, this is my excuse That's to like <laughs> to <laughs> sneak You're it like, in it's there. It's fine. It's just Halloween. <laughs> right. This is normal. <laughs> Duh. Um, and so, you know, I came up with like concepts and ideas for what I wanted the look to look like and the outfit. And Laura f- didn't. <laughs> no, it. you. You had the idea. But you did it. You yeah, know, you like what, made it happen. This is always how she is. Though. I'll have an idea for something and then she pulls it off. She's like, but it was you. I was like, it I couldn't is. do this. That's why you're here. <laughs> no, but it's like you you guys were able to explain like the vibe so well, both of you, like when it comes to like being creative. And that's what I love. Like if you ask me what my favorite makeup looks are that I've done, it's always something like that. The that fun looks, stuff. Or just like the unique stuff we do mm-hmm. that like is like outside the box yes although i love doing every glam but it's just some of these glams they hit different you yeah. know girl you be like glamming you be glamming us <laughs> and, I, and i love that too because we Do were just talking girls. about how like porn should be fun like it should be fun it so be fun. if you can be creative with it and have something cool that comes out of it and something that you're really proud of well, then it shines through and the fans love it even more. Exactly. And, you know, I get tired of the same old, same old, like, toss the phone up on the tripod and, like, let's f- I'm like, okay, yeah. yeah like, <laughs> yeah. That, it's fun at all. But, like, also. But also, let's do a production. Yeah. Let's make it cool. <laughs> let's make it fun. Like, let's make it interesting. Um, so, yeah. That was really, really fun. And that's, like, my favorite makeup look I've ever had ever in my life. Yes. I wish I could wear that, like, every day. <laughs> I wish you would wear it every day. It was a cool look. It was. Those are like contacts. my favorite pictures of me ever. That, yeah. You should wear it sometime. I mean, why not? Why not? I've seen some wild looks on TikTok and everything. And yeah, you know, just right. Do it. Vibe it up. I mean, it's not like we're living in Ohio over here. You know, you could do it. No one's gonna bat an eye. I feel like you know what I mean. <laughs> and also, like, I remember you telling me about like how you grew up with like friends that like had parents in the circus is that right or can you do you want to talk about that because i thought that was fascinating Mm -hmm. you've been around that like culture and like that life yeah so 
I don't know how I end up meeting like weird people, but <laughs> cool people, cool people, super cool people. Yeah. I um I had a friend that was a professional clown, and her mom was a professional clown. And her mom had passed away when she was younger, but she, like, had all these pictures and memorabilia from when her mom was a clown. That's so cool. And, um, yeah, every year for her birthday, she would host her birthday party called Clown Wars. And we'd all (laughs) do clown makeup and, like, come in our best clown garbs and... That Um, sounds so fun. It was so fun. And then um, they would, like, cover the backyard in tarps. And at the end of the night, we'd have, like, a pie-throwing contest. And they'd make a bunch of, like, meringue pies for the party. And we'd just have a pie fight. And then after, it would end in, like, a giant clown shower orgy. (laughs) And, yeah. That's amazing. It was really fun. moly. Yeah. I love that. Oh. I've always heard and like that, like being in and around the circus, not me, but like people in and around the circus are very like sexual, like, and they have really fun parties. Hey. That's what I've heard. And that I sounds like, like, it. I feel sounds like, like it. pretty fun. I feel like <laughs> they're, they're just down of... a clown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, um, I wasn't going to do this right away, but it, like, chimes with what we're doing. I have a small gift for you, actually, that I wanted to give you. (gasps) Me? Yeah. Um, It was, like, screaming Avery Jane, and I was like, cha-cha-cha-chia, come on, that's so cool. Remember those? (laughs) Yes, of course. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's amazing. So that's from us from the pod we are really happy to have you here and to you know thank you for sharing your love for clowns i'm so excited (laughs) (laughs) i've never had a chia pet i'm like this is magic me neither really i'm really excited for you no have you yeah they're fun when i was a kid i had a tweety bird one because for some reason i had a weird obsession with tweety bird for like two years i love tweety Tweety bird's cute yeah Yeah. (laughs) what what like weird obsessive phases did you go through because i had like chia pet i had like dolphins there was a period of dolphins yeah. there was a period of horses ty beanie babies yes yeah, beanie babies yeah i had beanie babies i was sailor moon oh yeah sailor moon you know like um i didn't know of sailor moon until i was older i was oh I, uh, I was probably like middle school i even had a sailor moon birthday party you know like <laughs> everyone wears something sailor moon and everyone got like little things and like that's yeah. really cute but yeah so i and what about you like what did you grow up with like loving I don't know. I mean, f- um, what are they? Beanie Babies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what are those things? Furbies? <gasps> oh, yeah. Furbies. <laughs> I remember, oh, when the Furbies came to McDonald's Happy Meals, man, and it was just constantly begging my mom for a Happy Meal. And she's like, no, no. Gotta collect all the Furbies. Then you go to the garage sales and you just find all the Furbies later when it's no longer cool. But you don't have friends. You don't care. You have the Furbies. You have the Furbies. <laughs> Did y'all ever Polly Pocket? Polly Pocket, yes, I no. did. I Polly Pocketed. And uh, I didn't tickle me Elmo, but I remember that was a big thing. Like, tickle me Elmos have always scared me. I remember when I was a kid, they like had a Black Friday thing, and that was the big thing that people yeah. were buying. And my, my family Elmo. was big, like, Black Friday people. People are fighting and each And people other, were like, like <laughs> they're in the checkout aisles of these Elmos, and they're just talking my because Elmo. they're motion activated. <laughs> and shit. And there's all these Elmos, man. It's my worst nightmare. I hate that thing. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm fine with clowns, but if Tickle Me Elmo can suck my dick because I did not. <laughs> I'm just imagining like a bunch of them, like a gang of them. Like they're just coming down the checkout aisles on the conveyor belt, just like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> They're like marching in like... I remember I had, like a recurring like Tickle Me Elmo nightmare when I was a kid like a recurring nightmare of Tickle Me Elmo like being chased through the woods oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh god I'm sorry we dug up that memory <laughs> no it's fine because you know what I did like was it I read that when I was a kid when I shouldn't have so I liked clowns as well it's funny I hear I hear most people say that they're scared like their phobia of clowns stems from seeing it too young as a kid like they were like i was too young yeah i don't know i read the book which you shouldn't have done when i was a kid if you know anything about the actual book versus the movie i don't even know if i could read the I book like, now huh. <laughs> i don't think you'd you're so to. smart like i'm like how did you do that when you were a kid <laughs> Because I didn't have friends. Books were friends. You know what I mean? It's like, well, these characters, I relate to them. They're not real. 
<laughs> that's what happens in your homeschool though it's like what else do you what else do you do yeah read books and go play in the woods fuck yeah right Feral. tickle me elmo will chase you <laughs> <laughs> It's like now how we're supposed to like cancel Harry Potter because J.K. Rowling, but I'm like, but those were my friends. Yeah, I, I but love Harry Potter. But what about Dobby? <laughs> like Dobby didn't do it. Yeah, Dobby didn't. Dobby didn't do any. He didn't want the smoke. He just wanted the fucking sock. Like it's. <laughs> I love Harry Potter, so I played like the I played the game, uh, the one that came out, the um, you know Hogwarts Legacy or whatever. Is that I'm the a new big one? Big nerd. Yeah, and you yeah. can fly around on a broom Ooh. and explore the castle, and I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm sorry, J.K. Rowling, whatever. I don't give a fuck. It's right, like she it's says, the world. Ooh, it's it's but... the world, like that of Harry Potter, not like you know the right, people. It's what it represents. Yeah. So I'm, I'm always gonna be a fan. Yeah. I'm like everyone still listens to the Beatles, and like, wasn't one of them beating his wife or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so I'm gonna appreciate Harry. Yeah, there's Potter so many still. things. <laughs> yeah. It. It's like, what? You can't like watch a movie with Kevin Spacey in it anymore? <laughs> Come on now. Where do we draw the line, really? Let people like what <laughs> They're wizards, for Christ's sake. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> I like everybody wants to make like such it's a big deal real? out of these little... <laughs> Laura. <laughs> I was like, what? I hate to break it to you. <laughs> Dude, I think I need to this take a, a minute. This is a TWND exclusive. <laughs> Harry Potter is not real. <laughs> Hold the front door. <laughs> what Breaking is happening? News. <laughs> Breaking news. Breaking. Damn. <sighs> so did you do the charcoal tabs for that scene? Because I remember you were talking about doing charcoal tabs for Ooh, that okay, so you, clown scene. We got um a thing of just charcoal powder like did you a, do it a whole thing of charcoal powder and so i mixed it in my water like in my water bottle and chugged it and then went yeah oh, and, oh. and then asked this poor man i was like are you okay if i puke up what's gonna look like black tar on your dick for this scene because <laughs> as a dark scary halloween clown i just feel like i need to puke up black yeah and he was like you know, you know. Yeah. How he, he's just let's like, go. Yeah, sure. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> he's like, I'm still getting, he's like, I'm still getting my dick sucked, though, right? <laughs> All right. right he's go. like, I heard dick sucked. Uh, sure. I'm like, I'll okay. just close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we put color contacts in his eyes too, so he's oh, like, okay. I don't know what's going on. My dick's getting sucked. <laughs> I can't see shit. <laughs> Feels great. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> But the photos so were, funny. yeah, everything turned out sick. I loved it. It, it looks really like good. Vibe. It looks so good. I mean, other than having to keep your dick hard, must it be, like, so easy to be in porn as a guy? Like, because you don't have to think about, like, what your face is doing, like. <laughs> right? And now people are like, now we want the ah, hey, geo. And you're just like, oh, shit, I gotta, like, cross my eyes. I'm gonna oh, stick out my tongue. Like, oh, they like that shit, too. Or, like, what do I look like right now? Where's my good angles? Like, it's just their dick. Like, you never have to worry about, like. <laughs> Once their clothes are off, you don't see their face anymore. Right? <laughs> it's literally just keeping their dick hard and their one little arm, arm yeah, back stance. Just, yeah, the arm open stance yeah, is my I love, favorite. I love it. It's like they're posing. They're just like, all right, yeah. just like this now. It's so <laughs> regal. Oh, yeah, it's it's that's so it. regal. That's it. And they don't even like move their top half either. No. It's just like they're still. They're I'm like, like, they must be. I'm like, is this fun for you? <laughs> <laughs> they just gotta open up. They just gotta see everything. They gotta see how big my dick is, right? So like they put their chest in it a little, you know? They're yeah. Like, yeah, I'm the man today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they have good pecs. They're having a good pec day. They're just like, all right, my boobs too. Come on now. <laughs> we can open up, but I can lower just like this, and then we'll just keep going. <laughs> and other than that, that's it. I'm crying. <laughs> Every time they call fucking action, I'm I immediately. I always forget to ask before. They go action and we start, and I'm like, "Is this a scene where I look at the camera? Or do you want me to not look at the camera and look at him? Like, what are we yeah. doing today?" And you know, every or do I not look at him is like that kind of yeah, dynamic like, where I'm like, "Don't look at me." Yeah. I'm like, "Where am I looking?" And they're like, "Look at him. Don't look at us." And I'm like, obviously. And I'm like, I don't know. It was obvious. The last ones were like, "Look directly at us." Obvious. And I'm like, I don't. You're like, why am I looking at him? He's not looking at me. He's looking at the wall behind my head. I mean, blindfold and then problem solved. You don't have to worry about any of that. Can girl. we just do more blindfold scenes so I yeah. don't have to? We need worry. like a paper bag series where it's just like it's just eyes. cover it over. You leave them. They don't need an eyes. Just a mouth hole to make breathing yeah. easier. Faces on them? Yeah. Different ones. We yeah. can decorate them like what you, you would do like, like growing up, like, like at makeup. summer camp. 
You make your little hand puppets with little paper bags and you design them. I did those. That was so fun. The little paper bag puppets. Stop. Yes. That was life. Can we do that today? <laughs> I'm down. No, Laura, you're not paying attention. We need to do it for heads to cover the men's faces. <laughs> instead of the mask, instead of the ski mask. You know, it's just going to be Well, we do have a paper bag here. We could start with there you go. <laughs> Which reminds me, I actually got you a little something, something too because it made me think of you wait as wait well. let me let me guess let me guess what it is a butt plug it could be okay actually all if right you if you wanted <laughs> it's about that size uh, this is this for you. is a butt plug <laughs> and it's an electronic yodeling pickle <laughs> it yodels because you did yodeling content before right yes so that made me think of you <laughs> and it's a pickle she's done yodeling content it was the time all right, let's see how this... It really like does look like, like it could go in the butt, though. Yeah. It really does look like When she thing. asked that, I was like, looked at it, and I was like, yeah. Okay, listen carefully. What's wrong with it? Do you, does it have a face? Or is it just a pickle? It's just, it's a, just pickle. a pickle. <laughs> Quick word from sponsor. Did you know that we're sponsored by Manscaped, the best at below-the-belt grooming? What? That's right. When you use code TWND and go to manscaped.com, you can save 20% and get free shipping on everything that you purchase. And what I would highly recommend while we go into the spring cleaning of things, most importantly, those things, you know the things, the things attached to the penises that you guys have been sending me pictures of. (sighs) The performance package 4.0 from our friends oh, at wow. Manscaped. Because honestly, it's beautiful. When you pull down a guy's pants and it's musty, dusty, and crusty, <laughs> it does not put you in a sucking mood. You know what I mean? And I definitely don't want to put that inside of my hoo ha. That thing is sensitive. So yeah. make sure that you have a fantastic presentation. You can do that by going to manscaped.com and using code TWND to save 20% and get free shipping on anything. But highly recommend the 4.0 package so what you will have in here is the weed whacker nose ear hair trimmer that's that's kind of funny to say the nose the nose ear hair the nose and ear hair trimmer you know the one (laughs) it's really good i demonstrated this on a previous episode you just shove it right up in there and you just give a little buzz buzz and it's really nice and it clears that all out so glad you didn't do it now (laughs) i don't want to do it now smart move yeah so if you have nose rings maybe you want to take those out i don't know (laughs) you also find uh the performance boxer briefs which are very nice and soft this is actually a box we'll be giving away so if you want to call 702-900-6446 and tell us all about your little ball situation going on below you might win one of these if you can uh, entertain us enough and uh if we think that you truly deserve it so moving on we also have the lawnmower 4.0 which is amazing Super easy, has an LED spotlight, it has advanced skin safe wow. technology to make sure that you don't nick all your little nuts down there because nobody <laughs> wants nick nuts, you know what I'm nick saying? Nick your knickers. <laughs> <laughs> you also have right here the Crop Reviver Ball Toner, which is very nice and we tested that and it smells amazingly fresh. I like it to use does. this on my man. We also have the Crop Preserver that I can't get out. It's it's a ball, deo- it's a ball deodorant. <laughs> it's it's a cream. We also discovered that. I thought this was a powder. I was sorely mistaken. I <laughs> I don't have balls, so I've not used this on myself. And my but man we, didn't tell me that it was cream. So it is cream. It's very nice. It smells good. And it's light and fresh. Very masculine. It must dry to a powdery finish, though. Yeah, it does. It, does, like, it, it did nice. on the kiwis huh. when we tested it on the That's kiwis. Dope. Inside this, you will also find the Shed travel bag, which oh, is nice. very nice. It's leather, and it's very, very beautiful. I like it. You also have some accessories down here, and everything you need to know about your performance package will be right here underneath all of your fun little goodies. That's an awesome gift. Mm -hmm. This is an amazing gift for yourself or for the man in your life. Um, And apparently also... The lawnmower 4.0 is safe enough to use on lady bits as well. So if you're ever in a pinch, nice to have that to offer as a backup. So go to manscaped.com, use code TWND to save 20% and get free shipping on everything that you purchase. Help support the show. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring. Yes, and thank, thank you, you all for trying and supporting Manscaped as well because we really love Manscaped. We so sure do. once again, code TWND to save 20% and free shipping at manscaped.com. 
<laughs> can we can, draw a face? Yeah, on we can it? draw a face. Okay. On it. We could take one of our Dossit stickers and just put our face, one of our faces, I over the pickle. <laughs> I love you too. Can you googly eye it? Ooh, yes. Googly eyes. You could just do a whole yes. makeup look on it. <laughs> lashes. <laughs> Little strips, little tiny ones. Oh, the little lashes cut them in half. <laughs> we'll make her hot, man. The oh. pickle's going out. I <laughs> love that. That's Where does one find, um, you know, yeah, these two knickknacks. things? <laughs> the two things that came out of this Trader Joe's bag. <laughs> and I'm just like, what is Trader Joe's Trader scary? hose. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you ever see any of those reports about, like, people finding shit, like, in their stuff from Trader Joe's? Like, th- this woman had a salad and she bit into a dead frog. <laughs> Oh, I saw that. Yes, yes. And yes. then there was like rocks in the cookies or something. And I was like, I like Trader Joe's, but now I'm concerned. Yeah. <laughs> like those little orzo salads. What's in those? <laughs> I don't shop at Trader Joe's, and now I feel like maybe there's reason. Yeah, <laughs> there's reason. It leaves me concerned. I'm just saying, if that's what they have found, imagine what they haven't. I mean, they got some really bomb cheeses, though. You know they do. That's true. But what if there's? What if they're full of like? Larva. We're just going to have to find out. <laughs> We're just going to have to build up our immune system by shopping exclusively at a shirt. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, off on another tangent. Here we go. But what was exciting is with your award. <gasps> yeah. You want to talk about Congrats. that? I won my first industry award. Woo! Woo! I and, won Female and, Performer of the Year at oh, Urban yeah. X. So it was a big one. She's she's a big one. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh how my big, gosh. How big, do you have like trophy? Not yet. I have to pick my trophy up um, sometime this week. That's and so I, cool. I've already, you know, cleared out the space where the trophy's gonna go. <laughs> do you have like some nice lighting and? You know, we're gonna like perfect. backlight it, oh, some color. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yes. That's very I just sent pictures of it to my mom. I was like, Mom, I want something. <laughs> and it's a category I could at least tell her, too, you yeah. know? Because I was like, you can't really like, tell your mom. I won Best Gang Bang. Yeah. <laughs> like, Female Performer of the Year. It sounds so, like, eloquent. It does. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of just, like, leaving out the big details. And it's just like, here's the overall picture, which is even better. Because it's like, that's overall. Not right. just all the yeah. other little individual stuff. So that's pretty sick. Right. Super cool. Yeah. Are you excited for anything upcoming that you want to talk about? Like anything in the works? Um, well, I just took like six months off. I, okay, so oh, I, that's yeah. Right. I took a shit ton of time off. I took like six months off from making new content mm-hmm. and I think like three months off from shooting from studios and just I've been like going on vacations and yes. hanging Hell out, yeah. and traveling. Mm-hmm. We've been living through like your Instagram, like with all your cool trips that you've yeah, been doing. Yeah, I've been like bopping around, just going to different countries, like having fun and taking a break from like porn world for a little while. And um, so now I'm like just hopping back in, which was cute because I was like, okay, I'm like just starting back up this week, and, and then, then I won an award. Psh, boom. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. You came in hot. Like, back See, hot. You were like, let's go. That <laughs> break was like needed. It was like, yeah. you're about to blow up, so you need a minute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I needed to like center and just kind of like work on things. And Enjoy your life. Yeah, live your life. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. I've been like grinding for like four years straight and was yeah. like, why don't I like take a break and like f- have fun for once and like do something yeah. else. Yeah, I feel so. like not enough people do that, especially in this industry because it's so easy to go hard and to like just not like yeah. I do that all the time but I have to remind myself to like you need to take some time or you do get burned out exactly and it's good, but good for your mental health yeah. and then when you come back like you recharge like exactly you know. so that's what I'm experiencing now because yeah I was definitely hitting a burnout in the beginning of this year which was just like chaos and uh yeah then I just like, I went to a music festival with a cute boy in Portugal and, yeah Ew. yeah I met a cute boy in Czech and went to a music festival with him in Portugal and then I went to Jamaica with my mom and had like mom time and then after that I went to a swingers resort in Jamaica so I was <gasps> How like was that? it was fun that's yeah. badass it was, it was cute yeah I definitely want to go back I went to um hedonism <clears throat> I've heard of that mm-hmm yeah, so one of my friends won a contest. She entered into, like, a webcam contest, and she won, and they let her bring a friend, and it was an all-expense-paid trip Ooh. to Jamaica for this hedonism week, and it just so lined up with the same time I was already planning on going to Jamaica with my mom. Oh, hell yeah. And so I asked them, I was like, can I just, like, switch the dates for my flight and, like, go with my mom and then mm-hmm. just, like, meet you guys there? And they were like, yeah, whatever, like, just book your shit and we'll pay for it and... 
uh yeah it was really really fun that's and awesome. cool that's so cool yeah that sounds fun what if, what was like your favorite little adventure that you've taken like your favorite spot to go um i mean okay so portugal was really really fun i really loved portugal but Jamaica was cute because the boys there are so horny all the time. All of the boys <laughs> yes. everywhere are so horny that I was just like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, you shower me with your attention. Maybe come. I don't know. <laughs> you never know where the night will go. I was like, dude, I don't leave my fucking house. <laughs> but then I went to Jamaica and I was like, it's raining men everywhere. <laughs> Damn. And is this like a resort where it's like locals are there too? Or is it just people like tourists? Like, what was it like? Because I know Jamaica, like, certain areas, like, because we have, like, family friends that live out there. It's, Mm -hmm. like, some of the towns are, like, a little bit, like, right now, like, like, it's a little dangerous right now. Like, and you don't want to walk around, especially if you're not from Jamaica. Yeah. Because, like, people will just try and, like, prey on you, like, and and get, like, And people can always tell when you're not from a place, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hella. (laughs) Yeah. Because you're walking around like this. Whoa. yeah exactly <laughs> well, well like with if it's a resort like it's probably like you know just for like people that are traveling there yeah maybe, so what? hero is like an all expense like all inclusive mm-hmm. so cool r- resort yeah. yeah it was my first time going to one like that so i was like oh this is cool yeah but um it's mostly so i guess mostly on like a normal day it's usually an older crowd there i've heard I feel like that's a lot of swinger club situations, (laughs) let me tell you, because I went to a few here in Vegas, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, I I went to one party, (laughs) dude, and I had to tell you this, there was, like, old people playing tennis, like, um, pool tennis or something, like, not tennis, volleyball, in the pool, naked, Uh old dudes, and they were like, come on in, and I was like, no, I'm good. (laughs) I'll watch you, though. And I was like, everything's just hanging and, like, bouncing around. It's like it's like when you go to like Black's Beach in California, you're thinking, "Ooh, the nudist beach," and then you're just like, "Whoa!" <laughs> it's, not it's, it's, it's always just like, all old men. It's <laughs> always, always, anytime it's like nudity or anything like that, it's always like they're that. so <laughs> nice. They're like, "Come on, take your clothes off." Dude. Yeah, it's like come on and join us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all nice. I think that's like the the best thing about aging, though, is you just get less and less shame. You're just like, "Fuck you it." Don't give a fuck. <laughs> What do I have to lose? I'm ancient. You're dying at some point. Right. Live. <laughs> they they are living. They're truly living. Yeah. So yeah, apparently on a normal week it's like usually like I guess sixty to nineties crowd there. All right. Is what I've heard. We want to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but then they host the want to die in Jamaica. <laughs> It's not a bad place to die. I mean, uh, you're 90, you die in an orgy in Jamaica? Come on. Yeah. Feed me pina coladas. We're good. What happened to Grandpa? (laughs) He died doing what he loved. (laughs) All right. Fucking and drinking. That's how I want to go out. Oh my God. (sighs) But yeah, we um we brought the the youth that week. I um I, I talked to a local and he was like, yeah, they host events every couple of months or whatever where they like bring in a younger crowd to like you know, like they bring in some kind yeah, of special like, event. Hey, it is cool. Come, yeah. come here. Yeah, and he's like, you know, for the entertainment and to kind of encourage younger people to go. And this local is telling me that, and I'm standing there like. That's us. We are the young entertainer yeah. for the week. Wait, like, oh. this is. We are the <laughs> entertainer. I was like, it's us. Like, we are the youths. Like, <laughs> you think I would know, motherfucker? <laughs> no, I figured it out. Like, I'm like Ding texting dog. my friends, like, did you know? <laughs> we are the entertainer this week. <laughs> She's like, ah, I came here for a fucking vacation, and I have to work. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta look good. Because these old guys, <laughs> and they, they came here to see something, damn it. <laughs> they came here to see ass and titties, okay? So they're going to see some ass, they're going to see some titties. And we're going to do it. And if it they kills them, it's Jamaica, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You yes. know what's funny, though? When you go to swinger things like that, though, I swear, like, the older you get, too, it's something... I don't know what it is, but I, they become more indestructible. Because even there, like, at this place, I'm, like, two drinks in. And I'm, like, all right, let me take it easy. There's a lot of, like, slopes and, and stairs here. And <laughs> yeah. these people in their fucking 60s are, like, do you want ecstasy? I have Molly. I'm on my 10th shot. And That's- I'm, like... 
<laughs> I, I can't keep up. Do you think yeah. it reaches a point where your body just kind of gives up? So you can just do kind of whatever you want? <laughs> right, like, um, hit. like like in this mid phase, right? You have a lot of shit to do. So your body's like, uh-uh. Your but body's then you like reach drug a certain and alcohol point, resistant, And maybe. it's just like, listen, you don't have anything going on. Let's do drugs. Let's do drugs. <laughs> You worked hard Maybe all your not. life. Yeah, Might you as well chill. You deserve this. You yeah. survived, survived the 20s and 30s. And you've yeah. earned it. <laughs> yeah. So there, there you, you, you go. You live through the Great Depression. <laughs> all right? You don't got to be depressed now. <laughs> you can be happy. You might die, but it's worth. It's worth. Yeah. They were going at it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! So we played a game on our last episode. Oh yeah, and um, it was called Never Have I Ever. Have you ever played that? It's like a card game, and um, but Molly wanted to put a twist on it instead of like making it like a drinking game, like some people would do. She made it into like a what's the thing called? Um, it's called the neon wand, the electro electric wand. So which- it's like a zapper <clears throat> stimulator for sex but she's never used one so we just zapped each other if we had done the thing on the car so then it reminded me so y'all me... are just putting fingers down <laughs> i'm like it was great because i wanted her to do it to my nipple and i had done all the cards up until yes. that point point. and yes. then all the cards i pulled after i said i would do the nipple i hadn't done yeah i was it like this was is bullshit weird. it, so was not, it wasn't meant to be <laughs> it wasn't meant to but, be. With, during that it reminded me of a scene that you did actually with that little zappy thing is it the same zappy thing it's i was wondering similar. It's, similar. it's similar it's similar i have the a zappy same, thing it's the same it wasn't like yours was like a stick right like a like a, it looked like a antenna or something where you just like yeah. mine has like different attachments it? and it's also old i got that thing like six oh, so years yours ago. is like a legit mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you can there's control like a, the like there's a comb one that actually feels crazy like going down your skin or even like on your scalp i was like woo, it makes your hair like whoop. <laughs> So can you talk about that scene that you did with us everything? Because I think I was there behind the scenes. Also I slayed. Remember, also slayed my face. That I just day. was like, this is probably one of one of the ones for the books that I saw. Like, yeah, you're mentioning way. it on another podcast, and yeah. so I want to hear it too. Um, talk about this. <laughs> So it was a shoot with Phoenix Marie, and yeah, you, she is. Um, I intense. have no words. Yeah, she's she's intense. She's a powerhouse. And yeah. I, yeah. I'm just like oh. She's like porn mother. Yeah. Like she is yeah. Shout porn. Out. Shout like. out Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I was like, I don't ever call anyone mommy ever, but like why do I want to call her mommy right now? Why do I want to get yeah. my knees right now and ask how I can help? Like, <laughs> I was like what is this? What can I do? <laughs> what can I do, mommy? <laughs> Yes, you could put your cigarette out in my mouth. It's fine. Uh, uh. It was one of those days where I'm well, she like, actually oh. zapped your tongue. She did. Okay, so she times. she zapped me all over with my zappy thing, and she even zapped my tongue, and she fucked me with my stripper heel. Yes. And I'm trying Whoa. to remember all the things. I, I think she like DP'd me with toys. There's they were the toys sh- in this scene. So we were toys in a Toy Story scene, and the the scene basis is that Andy like leaves for the day, yeah. And so we like come alive, and yeah. we're like, we don't know what to do with our day, so we fuck each other because obviously, Perfect. yeah. <laughs> I mean, what do you Andy think doesn't they were doing play behind all the cuts, okay? <laughs> if Andy's not gonna play, yeah, you will exactly. And so we played, yeah. Um, and it was just so much fun. It was so <laughs> cute. It was so much. fun fun it was a great time i was just like dude i never seen one of these zappy things and let alone be used the way you guys were using it i was like (laughs) what are some of the places that were did you get like pussy zaps and nipple zaps i think so i know there's nipple Mm -hmm. there's tongue nipple feels good though like i like the nipple the tongue Mm -hmm. was fun i was watching back the video and literally the entire time i was just screaming i was just like (laughs) 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 yeah the entire time it was like that (laughs) and i was just like this is really like a work of art (laughs) honestly that scene and the um the clown one those two got nominated for avians this past year i mean i'm not shocked not surprised they should have been yeah and and winning they got they got the the fan nominations they didn't win but they got the the fan vote fan nominations when i was like that's That's a nomination is a win plus especially especially if it's fan nominated that that it's the most important thing. It's more than like the bureaucracy of all like the awards and stuff because that's your fans going right. out on a bat and being like, I like this enough to be like, hey, look at this. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Know? I put my word on it. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. 
stamp of approval. Mushroom stamp of approval. <laughs> like. So yeah, I was honored. Those two were great. Those were yeah. <laughs> it was just like one of those things. How, I, how did the shoe? Because that seems painful. So it was the. It wasn't the the big box part, but it was like the actual heel part. Yeah, but that seems like it'd be stabby. Maybe because, okay, so there's like rubber mm-hmm. on the bottom, you know? It's like mm-hmm. uh, rubber, so it was hmm. smooth. Oh, it wasn't okay. like uh, sharp edges. Right, it wasn't sharp. Hmm. It was still smooth enough on the bottom and like thin enough that it just looked crazy on yeah. camera. Because I had done that for a custom cam way back in the day and I hated it. Huh. You put a shoe in you? Yeah, the oh. heel. But I think I didn't have the right heel for it. I didn't have a lot of heel options at the time, if, uh, I'm, if I'm honest. And it was, it was, was it kind the of, heel dope? it was one of the, the stilettos. It's kind of like, it's, it's flat on one end and then like a half circle. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. so that felt a little like scrapey. You know what I mean? Uh, and I think it was just not smooth enough. But I can see where it'd be smooth. Well, I mean, just use the pickle. Right. Just, yeah, just use the pickle. That's going my butt. It's going to yodel, yodel, yodel in my yodel butt. yodel in your butt. <laughs> 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 yeah. We all know how much I love making content, and one of the most important things for quality videos is lighting. But who wants the same old boring ring light? You can upgrade from basic to adorable at kawaiilighting.com with code TWND for 10% off. This podcast is lit by Kawaii Lighting's star-shaped ring light. There are also heart and kitty cat options to make you feel as cute as these lights look. Kawaii Lighting has many RGB options, which you'll have seen use in many of my videos and photos. Don't be basic. Stand out with Kawaii Lighting by using code TWND to save 10% and help support this wholesome pod. Let them know we sent you. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm literally going to be keeping my eyes peeled for you to mention that you've made this video. <laughs> we should make some content together. It sounds like we'd mesh up pretty well. <laughs> Can I please yodel in your butt? Of course. <laughs> we could dress up like those, like like the bar maidens. Yes. <laughs> have, like I'll even get a wig. We can do like long blonde like, <laughs> like braids, and we're just yodel. <laughs> and then, and then we gotta get a little guy on a mountain, like climbing in the <laughs> background. A little like hiker guy. <laughs> we can get a little miniature hiker man, and we can make him climb our butts. Like yes. at that can be the intro. It reminds me of the the Price Is Right and R I R I P to Bob Barker. He oh, just yes, passed Bob away. Barker. I guess. Like Why does that remind you of the Price Is Right? Because there was a game where the guy was yodeling up a mountain. Remember? <laughs> no, I don't remember do you, that. No, no one. Okay, well, someone does. If you do, call in seven zero two nine hundred six four four six. If you remember the little yodeling hiking guy he was like a little guy okay no (laughs) do you know the kid that became famous from yodeling the walmart yodeling kid do y'all remember that from the days of vine i don't know i should look it up please look it up i'll look up walmart yodeling kid so this little kid mason ramsey uh, he he was like in a Vine or like a YouTube video. I guess his mom recorded him yodeling in a Walmart. But he sounds so good. Like he was doing so good. And yeah. just from his yodeling video, yeah, he like became famous. He's on a remix of that song Old Town Road. <laughs> yes, he, that's him. He's Walmart yodeling kid. He like sang in Bonnaroo. I was like, this kid yodeled in a Walmart. And now he's on stage in Bonnaroo. Okay, I love, I love it because it. it also kind of sounds like he's going through puberty at the same time. Like, so it's helping the case. You know what I mean? Like, it's got a good voice. It's just breaking. Like, it's a... <laughs> it's got the acoustics of, like, he's singing in the bathroom, you yeah, know? That's great. Like, all that echo chamber. The bathroom. Why? Oh, my Thank God. Thank you for sharing that. The, the little concerts that you can have in the shower. Oh, I love it. Great acoustics. You never sound like that out of the shower, mind no, you. But. I'm like, wait, I, I thought I hit that note. <laughs> what it's just your shower, like, echoing around. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, that reminds me. Something so weird happened the other night. So a man was doing audio for some of his fitness videos and stuff. And he he comes out of the room. He's like, do you hear that 
buzzing sound this like this like high-pitched whine and I was like no I go in the room and then in the room I can hear it and we're searching for like what this high-pitched whine is he had a T and you could look at the middle of it was like vibrating and when you put your ear next to the T you could hear that whine like so loud into your ear and apparently if there's like a defect in the mug or something like that if the water is too hot it will create this high-pitched ring i had never heard of that before or anything and really? it freaked me out yeah mind blown science yeah. i was like what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> we had to put it in a different mug because you could just pick it up on the on the audio it was just screaming yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like drink me that loud that's crazy yeah. had no idea anyway wow. that was just did you keep the mug fact. yeah that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> just put a little cold water in next time. Make it not there so hot. you go. You just use it for water. I just thought that Regular that was crazy. Water. I was like, I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. It makes sense, though. Because if it's really know. hot, like all the molecules are moving really quickly, I guess. So and it wasn't a Molly Starfish I don't know. Mug. I don't remember. Science was a long time ago. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't your Molly Starfish mug. Does that, this that is mug, quality. Yeah. There are no defects <gasps> in this mug. Yes, all true. right. <laughs> but there is my butthole right there. Hey. In Starfish form. <laughs> <laughs> go to the only fans buy the merch <laughs> uh, uh, speaking of merch also those are for you i know you uh, said a large but i don't have any large shirts but it's a medium I and they're it. pretty roomy medium. they're comfy thank you <laughs> oh, i like the colors too that's really pretty and you can cut it like a crop if you want to be cute yeah you can cut it if you want to be cute you know so that's what I did, and I did it too short. Now it's just tits. Yeah, I, hate, I always do that. I'm guilty of yeah, it. I'll it's hold like, it up and I measure. I'm like, that's fine, and then I forget I have tits, and I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> it's, it's like just, under boob everywhere. Mine's just tit because it's down. Because <laughs> my boobs are fake. <laughs> yeah, it's like, eh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. This is fine. Then you wash it a few times, and it just gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> Hey, I'm wearing it with the sports bra now. We're good. Right? <laughs> Just wear it for your man when he gets home. Be like, babe. <laughs> Have you listened to this week's episode? <laughs> I'm going to try that. <laughs> she's making her she's making her man's brother watch our podcast episodes. Well, he's visiting from Hawaii. And like, he's bored probably because he wants to go out. And I'm like, hey, you know what sounds like fun? Let's watch some podcast episodes. <laughs> smoke a lot of weed okay <laughs> oh you want to go out while we're in vegas what if we stay in and watch my podcast that's how it's been i'm sorry i'm so sorry i love it. if you're listening duke please <laughs> do go out call in <laughs> what call would in. you rather have done on your trip? Yeah, but we're not doing it sorry <laughs> i swear we'll do something fun <laughs> oh my god it's just like you know you you come to vegas enough to like kind of like be like you live here i feel like right mm -hmm. you're here enough and when you're here you don't really want to go to the strip or do any of those things you just want to chill it's exhausting it's like you have to make a plan and there has to be a specific reason to go down to the strip otherwise it's just like yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's if someone asked me to do something down there i'm like <sighs> yeah, right. and then i'm like no thank you i'd rather die <laughs> <laughs> no, i don't, I don't want to do that mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's what I said. Like, he was like, yeah. you want to go check out this really cool glass shop with bongs? And so I was like, is this like a party? Because no. Nah. <laughs> and then he goes, it's not a party. And he's like, it's he's just like, a glass shop. He's like, shop. I it was a shop. You're and like, I'm like, is this? Are there people there? Yeah. I am instantly freaked out because I'm like, I don't know how to do these things socially. <laughs> like when we went to that I event, we went to friends. that weed event. <laughs> yeah. And we just sat in the corner. We were traumatized. Judging everyone. <laughs> We were traumatized, and that's what I keep picturing. I'm gonna run into that again. I know. Like I'm gonna walk into some house, and it's gonna be a full party, and I'm like, whoa, Ugh. you know. But it was a cool place. Shout out, and they have like really cool clothes, which is where I got this outfit. So if you're looking what for was some it called? funky tie dye, one of a kind pieces, it's called nice. Jammin' on Vegas. Like jammin', we're jammin', jammin' on, and like they're they're jammin' on sounds like a cult. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of Gemini? it's a tie-dye cult <laughs> it's everything a tie -dye. is tie-dye <laughs> but they had cool like leggings and like yoga pants and really cool bathing suits and like this caught my That's eye cute. this was like it got my heart so. oh, I love the tie -dye you guys. Yeah. did you did you want to tell people why you why you chose to wear sunglasses today uh, and be yes. super fly because so, i'm cool because <laughs> you're cool like that you're the fist <laughs> i am the fist so last week i had the injury on my leg which is you know almost gone which is great and then a few days later i woke up from a nap with a broken eye 
eye vessel, blood vessel, blood vessel in my eye. So it's you just woke up with it like that. Yeah, from a nap, and it's crazy. She so me, she's like, "Girl, <laughs> my eye is bleeding." Oh. Yeah, and it was fine because like it was underneath the eyelid, so it wasn't like in the whites of my eye for that minute. Yeah, and but then, now it's like something. now it's everywhere. So if anyone can see, which you, I'm not sure. Don't worry, that's not great quality. <laughs> so glasses today. It was either this or an, a pirate patch or a pirate eye patch, and I was like, glasses wins. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good plan. It's a vibe with the outfit, so that's why. I've never had that happen before. I wonder, like, how that just randomly happens. Me neither, right. and it freaked me out because I'd seen people happen, like, to them. I, it happened to my mom once, like, a long time ago. And I was like, Mom, you're scary. You know, like, because I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm> like, Mom, <laughs> you got to fix that. And it actually <laughs> takes two weeks to heal. It's not, like, oh. um, something that oh. goes away in a day. So it I'm over here working like with the busted eye and people are like you sure you're good and i'm like yeah, yeah. i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> this is fine it, it just looks like you got really stressed and your eye was just like nah <laughs> yeah I, maybe that happened but so in my dream i remember pain and it was the binding of my pillow i have like these pillows that <gasps> have a, a little bit of a thicker bind Ooh. and it was like pressing against my lid Ooh. while i was asleep mm. and in my dream i remember this hurts but I don't think I actually moved. Yeah. I think I just let it You're go like, into my eye while I was like, this slept. is a dream. It doesn't really hurt. And you wake up your eyes. My conscience is like, stay <laughs> asleep. <laughs> It's like when you have those dreams where you're like, I really have to pee. I really have to pee. Like, yeah. yeah, it's fine. And then I'm you pee going. the bed. Yeah. Or I you know. wake up and you're Let's like, see. oh, wow. Like, okay. Like, maybe I should listen. Have you ever peed the bed before? I mean, I have. So. I mean, yeah. But it's been <laughs> a while. I was a kid. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I think like as in a, as an adult, I don't believe I have peed the bed. No. <laughs> I think I have like maybe My once. ex peed the bed once. Uh, I'm not shocked. <laughs> I was gonna have you peed the bed with someone in it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't, but I was in it. <laughs> you got peed on. You used to pee on me all the fucking time. Mm. Fucking drunk piece of shit. Damn, <laughs> it be like that. I'm like, he says he loves me. <laughs> Stupid. I've heard that before, though, like people dating like and the guy pees on them like like my friend was staying in Vegas and she was in the bathtub just chilling, you know, because that's what I guess you do in your room. Mm -hmm. You chill in the bathtub. <laughs> the, yeah. Her boyfriend just like walked in and started peeing on her. She's like, I'm in the bath, dude, like trying to clean myself. This is it. Helping. And a bath is already like you're just sitting in your and own you, like yeah. filth. And, yeah. then, and then you add pee to it as well. And I'm it's like, sure don't worry, babe, it's sterile. Uh, he was a drunk mess, I'm sure. That was yeah. probably why he did it. But dude, I, I swear. Like, What's up with that? My ex peed on the outside of every house that we lived in more than he ever used the toilet. Like That's what you told me. And yeah. I still like that blows my mind. When, like, when I sold that last house, I had to get someone to come and like spray wash and power clean the outside of the house and the balconies because he would just pee outside on the house and you had dogs that wouldn't even do that yeah. i mean that's that's like bad yeah, that's bad know? it was bad it just got used to the smell of urine after a while you know it was nice in washington because the rain comes and washes it all away <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i like getting peed on but not on the house yeah the <laughs> house is bad. ridiculous yeah, nothing to you <laughs> I, I like getting peed on from time to time but not in the bathtub yeah, yeah. that's your relaxing time right. it's not sex time yeah no you pee on I mean, me unless, in the shower yes Yes, yeah, so that makes the, sense. That makes more sense. I don't mind getting peed on in the shower. I think it's funny. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think it's so funny. I'm just like, I love peeing in the shower myself, so I don't mind. <laughs> You're like, ah. You <laughs> What's it, that show? Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> I'm peeing in the shower. Oh my God. I love it. I don't care. Who cares? You're getting clean anyway. Who gives a fuck? That's it's true. It's sterile. So. That's mm -hmm. true. People drink pee. Yeah, people do drink pee. I mean, I haven't drank pee. Do you drink pee? I drink a lot of pee. Yeah. I mean, like, do you wake up and drink it? Like, no, do you have it ready to go? Or I'm is it like one of those things where you just like, I'll just have like a dispenser it's water, in the fridge. Like, ah. It's just like pee. So I'm not, yeah. I'm not one of those. I do remember years ago, I met a woman. I forgot her name. 
I could remember her name if I really, really tried hard to dig deep in there. But I remember I met this woman that like wrote a book one time and there was a chapter about how she's like a pee drinker. But yep. not, so, OK, I drink pee for hardcore porn scenes mm-hmm. and like occasionally for sexy time in my personal life when mm-hmm. it's like kinky time. Yeah. But this woman wrote a book about and like detailed about how like urine she, therapy. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. She keeps jars of her urine. Yep. You, you drink it for certain things. No. You put it on your tongue <laughs> for certain things. She was talking about how it cures AIDS. Like she was just saying all this stuff about the power of urine and like, how does it cures it age? everything. Like, did she have some from like this is 2012? <laughs> this, this is, is a, like last this week. This is a vintage. Pee. This is a 99. This You're is gonna a really asparagus like this pee. It stinks, <laughs> but it's you know good but for you. But it's really good health benefits yeah. because asparagus is good. <laughs> did for she? You. No. <laughs> i just pictured this woman's house like lined with like canning jars yeah, that's what i pictured when she said that i was like this lady must be like one of those sommeliers of pee oh my god like, what a smell her i, I feel like sommelier. right i feel like she keeps it in a little jar in her purse and like you know <laughs> yes yeah, got like your pulse points let's go <laughs> It's pheromones. <laughs> have you have you heard that trend of like women like when they're ovulating, like putting their finger up there and then just rubbing it on like your temples yes. and all the spots? What is that and supposed to do? It's supposed to like really make you desirable and turn turn oh, guys it's like on. A pheromone yeah, thing? I guess. <laughs> it's like, guys, just like you smell like a patch. <laughs> <laughs> she okay, sounds like, like guys are like go, the yeah. guys like wait <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fuck no <laughs> it's like that sexual harassment video you showed me it smells like fresh vagina in here <laughs> she shows me this video of sexual harassment in the 80s yeah and it's like I'll show some, it to you <laughs> it's something that they played in the workplace of some offices I think and yeah, it was I like this lady walks in and <laughs> Someone like Xeroxine or yeah. like with the fax machine. She's like, it smells like fresh pussy in here. <laughs> no, she said, just, first she goes, it smells like vagina in here. Like with a big smile on her face. And the other woman's like, are you talking about my, my vagina? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there was nothing about fresh in it. She, I, I, I well, maybe, it. maybe she said what at first, and she goes, "It smells like fresh vagina in <laughs> the here." Smile. The smile is the creep. We'll show it to you. I want to see this. I want to see this. <sighs> and um, we wanted to bring up something else too that we noticed. You were in the last season of Dave. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. I mean, when I saw you, I was like, "Oh my god." That's her. I know her. How was that? That was fun. That was super fun. I um, so I got booked for that back when I still had an agent, and they were like, we occasionally like will book porn girlies for like FX shows, and I was Hell like, yeah. that's cool, yeah. And so they were like, you know, we have a booking for you for this show, Dave, and I was like. I've never watched the show a day in my life, so now yeah. I have to like figure out what this is. Yeah, and so I'm like, I like did like, a little dive of it, and I was like, okay, I know who Lil Dicky is, so mm-hmm. like that makes sense. Yeah, and so we go, and of course we're strippers <clears throat> because people only hire the hoes to play hoes on TV. Usually, well, we do the best job. We do, yeah, I would assume we're professionals at being Come naked on. on camera. Yeah. So, um. It was really, really fun. There was, like, other girls there that I'm, like, friends with on Twitter, but we've never met in person. So cool. So, yeah, I, like, met a few of the porn girlies, and we got to be on set for, you know, it was, like, a full day, and, um... Yeah, finally we, like, shot a scene, and it was Lil Dicky and Rick Ross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um... It was so cute. We were just like <laughs> flirting around and like I was getting in his face and we we're being all flirty and he was like making jokes about buying me a G Wagon and I was like, No, but really, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But really sir. I could I would take that. Yeah. Right. What do you need from me? Right. <laughs> Get on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. I was ready to risk it all you right there. You just hop there. off the stage. You're like, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Production's like, okay, okay, everyone, like, get in your spots. And he's, like, walking to the back room. And I'm like, but my chance. Like, how do I get this man's number? <laughs> I'm slipping through my grasp. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> you're like, you, know, you wouldn't slip through my grasp, baby. <laughs> like, I can do this all day. <laughs> I take such good care of you. <laughs> you can pee on me. Come on. <laughs> I'll drink your pee. <laughs> <laughs> you scream that? Because you know that. <laughs> he's He's like, like what yeah <laughs> you can piss on me i swear <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. did you meet him did you get to meet him oh yeah 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 that's sick that's so, so cool yeah i um i predominantly like so where they had us set up for the scene they had like it was like in a club and there was a stage and there was like two stripper poles and so i was on one pole and then at sometimes i was like 
on the like floor Twerking. of the stage mm-hmm. yeah. and he was like right there so i was like with rick ross most of the time so for cool. shooting that. yeah it was so cute it was what fun. episode was that do you know i think season three episode three everybody go check it out go check it's it out so yeah. awesome. it's a really go really good scene yeah it's yeah. like the opening scene i think it plays like the little the little opening song and then it's them in the club and mm-hmm. it's us and titties and I was like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that that's so cool my mom was like like what is it what is it? I was like mom stop telling people I'm on TV you d- I'm like don't tell them about this yeah. one mom I was tell like, you c- them I mean come on it <laughs> was to, awesome I had to worry I was like mom <laughs> just so you know hey. my titties do be popping so <laughs> I was like I'm, I'm dancing mom and she's like dancing like they know about your dance background and I was like not, Not that, that different. different. No, a no. <laughs> little bit different. A little bit different. A little more bouncy. <laughs> different, different dancing mom. I skipped that phase. She still doesn't know I was ever a stripper. She knows about the porn now. Yeah. I just, <laughs> just like, skipped over that, but you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> <"Yeah."> <laughs> I remember someone one time was like, your mom would have rather you be a stripper than porn. And I was like, oh. <laughs> well, well, I don't want her to know that was the option, so we'll just leave that one off the table. <laughs> like she doesn't know, need to know about the stripper to porn star pipeline. Like, <laughs> you know, that's, that's funny. It's like that's kind of the part I skip over too, because I did that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just like, oh, that was a thing that happened so long so ago. So you both are saying this is, yeah, this is normal. So this listen, oh, yeah. if you're trying to get into porn, be a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell you. <laughs> You'll realize very quickly that the money's better and nobody can steal it when you have a check instead of cash in your bag. <laughs> it's cool. Because <laughs> I didn't realize that my first night. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I can pay rent. And then I was like, I have $5. <laughs> oh no. Usually... I thought we were friends. <laughs> this has always been my problem. <laughs> I think of these like veteran strippers are like gonna be my friend, and I'm like, you'll watch my bag, right? They're like, yes, we will. We will, oh we will watch God. your bag real well. I was I was that stripper too. I was the naive stripper. I remember one time I like went out with one of the girls and we like got drunk and went back to my place and I was like sleepover, like woo. And we woke up in the morning and she was like. So I didn't go home to my pimp last night, which means I'm on the run, which means you've effectively kidnapped me from my pimp, which means he's going to try to fucking kill you, like both of us. And so like that was like a two week journey of like hiding out from a pimp where I was like, I just thought we were getting drinks and being friends. And all the other girls at the club were like, you dumb bitch. Like you didn't know. You didn't see the signs. You didn't see this, this, this. And I was just like. I'm a bad hoe. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just wanted friends. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, hey, how can we make friends? Let's be strippers. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I just wanted to wear fishnets and make friends. Yeah, girl power. I thought we were all going to dance together and love each other. Have some girl dinner. <laughs> Do you like white wine? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a spritz. <laughs> it's like, come on. Yes, you can hold my purse. Sure. sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. The shave code is 420 <laughs> But it's just money in there. You don't need that, right? You don't need that. Oh, my God. Oh, and my geez. grandma's diamond ring. You don't need that either, right? <laughs> oh, sorry that happened to you, but you now know these things, right? Like it's like life, life experience. Lessons. Yes, absolutely. Now I know. Stripping? Not for me. <laughs> yes. Funny, I loved stripping, but just yeah, I was like, oh. I loved it once it was on cam. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, I can do this so at much home. easier. Yeah, a ho- ho at home. That was that was my thing. Right. I prefer to hoe at home now. Yeah. But I did, I loved the strip clubs for for what they were. It was, yeah. it was fun. It was you know, it was a tough tough. It was tough job. I think it was like a good learning experience for me that I'm like glad I had, but would not do again. You know what I mean? Like, so are you done with the clubs, like dancing at clubs, or do you still like maybe do feature dancing? Or? I would feature dance. Yeah. I um, I've been talking to a few feature dance agencies, and I like pick up a few gigs here and there when my friends will do shows. That's cool. Yeah, but other than that, I'm never gonna like go audition at yeah. a club yeah. again. Do you have any favorite spots like that you would go like just? frequently just to like go see like or do you have any like recommendations of cool spots like in LA or Vegas um funny enough I've never actually been to any of the clubs out here in Vegas oh, ah. 
Have Do we it. need to go? Should we go? Girls night one day? Should we go to a strip club? And we I'm won't down. take anything of yours and we'll <laughs> actually <laughs> leave the yeah. house. Like, we're not on the run. I'm sober, so I can drive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drink. You guys, you ladies can get trash. I'll take you home. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> I'm like, well, I just like leave. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, we'll cool. smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love having friends. It's not like, it's not like I have a problem with other people drinking, but it's so much easier to hang out with people who don't when yeah. you don't. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? I because it's like sometimes i'll get into a situation too where it's like i don't go out often yeah. and then when i do and if there's a bunch of people drinking i get so uncomfortable and then i think i'm like was that what i was like and i was like <laughs> no i was worse <laughs> but it's like yeah because it's not the vibe yeah it's you know not what the I vibe mean? so you're like well this yeah. doesn't relate to this me. is my vibe comfy chairs fuzzy fuzzy pillows and, nice and rugs lights. nice right? lights yeah <laughs> and i was traveling with a boy in europe he was like please like watch your drinking like i don't want to have to like babysit you or lose you in a foreign country and like i don't want like any scenes to be caused you know he's yeah. like i've had my fair experience with like ladies that get a little crazy when they drink like i don't mm-hmm. want anything to do with that and i was like oh no like that's not my kind of drunk like i'm a completely different kind of drunk and yeah. i have this video on my phone <laughs> where i got trashed one night at dinner and he's like you know please don't cause scenes like don't go crazy i have a video on my phone where we're literally at the airbnb and i'm like on the stair rail going down the stairs going catch me catch me wee <laughs> down the stairs and then you see like the phone falls on the ground and i'm like picking it up and i'm like you don't have to worry about me being an aggressive <laughs> like i just want to ride the rides she's like yay <laughs> we- oh, <laughs> and he, he's like well he's like it could be worse <laughs> yeah it could be <laughs> Liquid IV, really hydrated. Wow! Now and that, sugar-free. This is a great package. Yes, and it was it was really really cool. Holy so I moly. want to show this to you, I uh, guys. Please, Liquid IV was our very first sponsor ever, and we love you know Manscaped and stuff as well. But Liquid IV is absolutely amazing. I do drink it every single day. It helped me earlier when I was feeling overheated and hot because I was yep. dehydrated because I didn't have one this morning. So now that I've had one, I'm feeling loads better, but I would like to have another because I wanted to try the sugar-free. Yes. I saw the email about it a while ago. So let's look in door number one. <gasps> white peach. Do you want to try white Ooh, peach? Yeah, that sounds great. So let's see what the other flavors are. We also have, let's tilt it forward. We also have, ooh, grape. Green grape, white peach, nice, and ba, ba, ba. lemon lime. Beautiful. Which one are you feeling? Let's try the peach. The white peach. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Do you need more water? <laughs> Liquid IV. You hooked it up. Thank you. Oh, my, do we have another Fiji? Yeah, but you can use the rest of this. Okay, well, then we'll just share and we'll it. share it. Yeah. Here. Sharing. It's talking again. <laughs> it's excited to be here. This is great. And so Liquid IV is great. Um, if you guys have a hard time staying hydrated, if you have headaches, you are working out all the time, you need to have a little something something to add to your water to help you absorb your hydration better. And CTT technology can help do that, transporting five essential vitamins into your bloodstream. We got vitamin B3, B5, B5 B6, B12, B12 and, and vitamin, vitamin C. C. Mama's back, baby. Hey, I remembered it. Hey. Check this out. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding here. <laughs> this is awesome. Liquid IV absolutely hooks it up every single time. You guys can check out their website and use code TWND for 15% off and free shipping <laughs> on everything that you purchase. This helps pay David. You guys get awesome stuff. You get stuff that tastes good. And if it tastes good and it makes you more hydrated, then why not give it a shot? Because Win. we use it all the time and we give it to our guests. We absolutely love it. And if you guys want to help support the show, it really helps us. So use code TWND. <laughs> Your head could be spinning all the way around. You could be like vomiting black stuff, right? Yeah, it could be so much worse. Charcoal. I just, I You're just like, no, that's slide. just for fun. <laughs> I, I just wanted to slide. Yeah. Aww. So if, when, if I do drink, like that's the most. I'm like two beers in and that's it. I want to slide down the staircase. Yeah. I love that. You're like, let's go. <laughs> I'm a always, woo girl. I'm a woo girl. <laughs> I would always just want to make out with everyone. Like, AVN would just me, like, <laughs> trash and just like, hey, you want to kiss? You can spank my butt. Want me to carry you? Like, <laughs> and then just go home and drink more and become depressed and go to sleep. <laughs> and do it again. And do it again. I mean, I feel like that sounds like a standard AVN experience. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is when AVN ends and the drinking doesn't. <laughs> 
So now, like, at all these events and, like, expos, they have, like, the sober rooms, which I hear, like, pretty fun. The but sober we rooms? didn't know about it. What do you mean, the sober rooms? Like, the rooms for people that they don't party or drink. Like, there was, like, rooms for sober people. Well, like a, like a quiet Like a hangout. Space? Yeah. Like, no, not a quiet, like, not a library. Okay. <laughs> but, like, I just literally. a bunch of, like, sober people sitting in a room but talking why? about why they're sober. <laughs> You're sober. Wouldn't you want to go be around like sober people that are no, not No, because that's dumb? me being around people. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard enough. I think it's like all the people that are running the industry. Like all of the like people that are actually like doing the things and yeah. not being a hot mess. They're like just having really important meetings. Business <laughs> meetings. <laughs> like, legit. They're but, making like, money moves. Yeah. Right? Everyone's like being a hot mess. They're like, we're good. We're Thank good. You. <laughs> you have fun though. We'll take photos for the social media. <laughs> It's like avian this year they had like the i don't know yeah. what they called the room but it was like a mental health room almost where they were like if you get overwhelmed just come chill in here there's snacks like some water rooms. yeah it's like a quiet space just come relax maybe that was the sober room too that might have been i, I forgot know. what it was it was like the pineapple express room i think i think uh, pineapple express did a room where they were like we know this is crazy so like hmm. come 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 relax yeah we need. didn't know about them though my, my problem is if if i'm there and i go to decompress I can't like <laughs> recompress. You know what I mean. You know, so it just has to be like a a bull run right through, and then you can decompress after, like days later. <laughs> That's how it was. It's like every day you just get a little more wound up, like when you would take one of those wires and wrap it around a, a pencil, and it just keeps going and going and going, and then at the end, <laughs> shoots off into the distance, and then all of a sudden it's September. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, what in the world, dude? What in the real, like, actual fuck? Like, what has happened? I'm almost 32. <laughs> it's almost here. Uh, this is true. Uh, what's going on? Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, we need to do where we all go to strip club here in yep. Vegas. Do you know any good ones? Um, they're all pretty good, I think. Like, I, I have a homegirl that dances out here. I can see. Ooh, well, let's go check it out. Together. Yeah, we make definitely it rain. should. Right? We need to make some fun, crazy content together because I think that we could have a lot of fun, especially yes. with Halloween coming up. Content. Yes. Content. We love making content. <laughs> yeah. A little comedy content for you. <laughs> You want to tell everybody where they can find you so they can see all the cool stuff that you do? Yeah. So I'm on Twitter, Avery Jane XO. I'm on Instagram, Avery Jane Official. Um, search me on Pornhub and X videos. Like and subscribe to those bad boys. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then from there, you'll find everything else. There's oh, so yeah. many things. I'm share everywhere. with a friend. Share with a friend. Yeah. And share this podcast with a friend. And if please. you if you enjoyed the episode today, please leave us a rating. Um, we don't have as many ratings on Spotify. And if you're not watching on Spotify, you're not seeing full video episodes. We are no longer going to be hosting full video episodes on YouTube because they demonetize us. So... <laughs> We have some new stuff with subscriber things. I'm going to hint at that coming up soon in the next couple months. So stay tuned for that. Um, write into the podcast, twndpodcast at gmail.com. Yeah. If you want to leave comments on anything that you heard today or if you have any stories to share, you can also call. 702-900-6446. Uh, Absolutely. Thank you all for listening. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you Monday. We out. Come. <laughs> <laughs>